I think that's where the benefit of electronic uh, recording is very good because if you can kind of, if you hit a plateau phase or if you're making a three month change and suddenly it's like, what happened? I'm not getting to my goal. You kind of pull out, uh, I don't know if the Fitbit has a uh, logarithm that it prints up for you, but you can pull it out, kind of go back to when you were really doing 10,000 a day and when did it fall off and then try to relate that to a stressor or a change in life. So it's nice, again, it's nice to journal. Uh, I think they're running about a hundred bucks now, uh, but uh, I think it's worth it, but I would always say it's also important to have eyes on. If you have somebody that's, if you're hitting the plateau, if you've made your change, uh, shop for three months and you can't get to that point, have somebody, I would invest in somebody to say, maybe come up with something, figure out why I didn't make it or come up with something new for me so I can make it next time. And they'll, if it's a good person, they'll be able to kind of assess what your loves are, where you might have failed, look at your Fitbit data, and then come up with a couple of things outside the box that you might not have thought about before. That could be a personal trainer, exercise physiologist, psychologist, yoga therapy doctor, or yoga therapist, or your doctor. So I just, and if you're gonna make a lifestyle change and you wanna make it last, call on everybody. Get everybody involved and your chances for sustainability will be higher. We have actually, we've got